What happens to Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You guys think you can keep me here? You think you can just break me out of the competition? No way. I'm spilling all the secrets. You know what? I'm done. I'm off this. I, this is... <laughs> Welcome to the Summer Throne Reunion Show where I'm about to link up with the entire squad. We'll find out if there's more to the Larry and Shania royal wedding, the Newmans have a message for a cast member, and is Sam still at the mansion? You're just gonna have to keep watching to find out. First up, we've got the heart and soul of overtime. The game got real when she was eliminated. It's my good sis, the Duchess of Overtime, Overtime Chloe. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm finally happy to be back. Obviously, we couldn't do this without you. So, fill me in a little bit. You gotta tell us some of the details about the mansion. What was life like? Having to share a bathroom, and luckily I had my own bedroom, kind of. Tanya was my roommate, um, but I'm super thankful I didn't have to get in the bunk beds because I would have walked out of the show immediately. So we have to know, would you live with this same group of people over again? I'm not gonna lie, um, even though I give them a hard time, I, I do miss it. And, and I would definitely, if I had the opportunity, I would for sure do it again. Fill us in, tell us a story we didn't see on camera. We were trying to figure out a way early to take out, I'm sorry, Larry, to take out Larry. There it is, so you guys were plotting. We were, we were. And, and people, they suspected it, but weren't sure because we were on different teams. But uh, we were trying to get Larry gone from the jump. And of course, he makes it all the way and wins. It's just our luck. So why were you going for Larry of all people? For me, it was more so like everyone's always like, Larry, Larry, Larry. So I was like, all right, we just got to get him done over, like get some new hype around some more people. And so, you know, I was tired. We were tired of being in the shadows, but he's still the king. The game got so real though when you were eliminated, especially with it happening pretty early on. The, I felt it, the audience felt it, everybody felt it. Can you fill us in about what you were feeling when that moment went down? Yeah, to be honest, I was shocked. I was like, there's no way that I'm gonna lose. Um, I'm gonna knock down these pins. I'm already in the lead. I was like, this is, this is easy money. So when it happened, and when everyone was shocked and gasped, and I didn't even realize that I had lost at that moment. I didn't know until obviously I got up. And then all of a sudden it just felt like a knife to my heart. Cause I was like, this was supposed to be my competition. I was supposed to win. And if anything, I felt like I let so many people down because I went home so early. And it really came down to the wire with Mikey and Monica both finishing with 22, you finishing with 21, right? Yeah, one pin. It was a one pin difference. Okay, well, I hate to break it to you, but there's actually something that we want to show you real quick. This is from round one of bowling where you finish with seven pins. Let's roll the clip. Okay, close. So here you go in round one. You're sliding in and the pin. Are you kidding? There's another pin up. So it was, so it was 22. Why didn't they run it back? Why was I the one that was sent home, Jess? I can't tell you, but what I can tell you is I got a couple of numbers. You can reach out to a few people, see what you could do. Maybe come back for round two. You know what? I'm done. I'm off this. Uh, this is... <laughs> Sorry, Chloe. You hate to see it, but better luck next time, maybe. Next up, we've got everybody's favorite punching bag. He's got the moves, he's got the jokes, and I'm pretty sure he's still at the Overtime Mansion. Please welcome Overtime Sam, everyone. Sam, what what is behind you? What is that little troll-looking thing? Uh, I, I, I really don't have a good answer for you. Uh, I'm in an undisclosed location. So you mean you're not still at the mansion? After the, the, the longest, toughest week of my life, uh, the, the producers let me let me finally leave. And, and even though I'm I'm definitely emotionally scarred, uh, you know, I, I'm starting to recover now. <laughs> so it seemed like everybody thought you were definitely the weakest link and you ended up getting eliminated pretty early on. What do you have to say about all that? Okay, here's what I have to say about that. First of all, the, the, these competitions are, are were not structured at all for people who are who are big like me. Like I'm, I'm six seven, I have long limbs, I have long arms. The, all the competitions were built for people that are, you know shorter and, and, and not as athletic, uh, and not as smart as people you know like me. I mean, did you really think that you'd be able to just 
Well, I'm out day one. Gotta go. Yeah, I have Delta miles. I, I, I like. I, I've been saving up my Delta miles the whole time, and, I, and, and like that was. I couldn't think. I'd rather. I'd rather have gone back than use it on a vacation. You ended up having to do some sort of production staff type of work. You know what I'm talking about? We've uh, we've got a clip for you to watch, actually. <laughs> so here's Mark telling you that you have to join the production staff. <laughs> you seem a little mad, Sam. Uh I, I, I was not I was not in the mood to, to do anything production wise. I, I, I literally wanted to go. I was just, I was so locked in on going home and booking a flight, and then he's telling me that I gotta set things up. I, I don't want to carry things. It's bad for my lower back. I, you know, production is a lot of setting things up and taking things down. Now everybody did kind of pick on you just a little bit too much, so we have a special message for you, Sam. Sam, don't worry about the haters. You're hilarious. Everyone loves you. Now show off some of your dance moves. All right. I mean, you know. If I gotta show up the dance moves, I can always do that. Alright. There they are, the dance moves everybody knows and loves. Thank you, Sam, you're killing it. If y'all don't have a headache yet, that is all about to change. Everybody welcome Mikey, Mitch, Peter, and AC. How are you guys all doing? I'm doing well. I actually do have a headache. Doing good, good. doing good, you know. All right, we're gonna start off with Mitch. Talk to us about getting hurt and going to the hospital during sumo soccer. That was tough. Um, I came in as kind of the, the favorite. Everybody was out to get me in that. And AC felt the need to sweep my legs out from underneath me. I fell back, hit my head on the ground. And look at him, look at his, look at his little crap eating grin that's, right there. That's what He's I call it. Like I'm a competitor, baby. I play to win. You're a cheetah. That's exactly what you are. Eh, debatable. So, Eric Cole, do you think it was your fault? No, nah, I mean, honestly, when I have that sumo suit on, I couldn't see nothing. I was sweating. I was just playing. And, you know, Mitch kind of, you know, like, I know I thought he was an athlete. He kind of got injured and started crying. Mitch, my guy, you run the FC account. You have played soccer your entire life. How did you let that happen? Yeah. Not once have I played in a sumo suit, and I think Mikey and Peter can attest to the fact that obviously AC giving me a concussion didn't help. Probably not. Would you say that your injury was the reason why the, the blue team lost? 100%. They cheated and they won. We're gonna move on to Mikey. Mikey, you did take a brutal fall in the relay race versus Larry. Did that hurt? Yeah, I mean, we were playing basically on a concrete tennis court and I was going fast enough to the point where when I fell, I did like slide and skid on cement. Peter, you kind of addressed this in the show. Do you think that you should have been the last leg instead of Mikey? Definitely in hindsight, I feel like I, I probably should have ran instead of Mikey, but I don't know, maybe it would have happened to me and I'd be the one with the scar instead of Mikey. So maybe I should just be thankful. Mikey, Peter, AC, you all had the first double elimination. Oh. Double elimination, you are oh. right. Ten, nine, let's go! Three, two, double eight! How do you all think that that played into the rest of the game? The double elimination was crazy because like that was the first double elimination and out of nowhere, like we go to the elimination dungeon and they're like, yeah, two people are getting voted off. The blue team always got like the easy, easy side of things. For sure, I definitely agree with AC there. I mean, the game was rigged. You seem to still be just a little bit bitter about how all these games turned out. So going off that, do you agree with everyone who says that you're the biggest complainer? I mean, I really was just asking questions for the sake of the integrity of the games, but some for some reason, people just can't see that. There were definitely some moments where you guys were complaining a lot. We got we got a clip to show you guys. And I'm the sore loser here. This is unreal. Yeah, because everybody else was cheating. Yeah. Oh, wait, Mikey. What? This is me. Bro. Is that? Bro. There was no chicken on my bone. Right. We said clear the bone, did we not? Kicks me out of the game. The wing thing was such bull I can see the chicken on the bone. Listen. Yeah. All right, guys, after that clip and you lived with them for a week, which of them do you think is the biggest complainer? I mean, between Mitch and Mikey, it's not even close. It's Mikey, and Mikey was my teammate, so I'm like wow. completely unbiased when I say this. Wow. But I think they overplayed how much he was complaining. But with that being said, it was like when he wasn't asking good questions, he was complaining. Air Cool, what are your thoughts? Yeah, no, it's definitely gonna go to Mikey. Mitch was more of the guy that just was always like getting injured or I don't know, just crying or something. Something was always wrong with Mitch. And then Mikey goes like full 21 questions, like, whoa, 
can he cut a shirt? Can he do this? Can he do that? Can I do that? Can I do this? Can I do that? A lot of people say you look like Sid from Toy Story. Yeah. I'm not saying you do, but I'm also not saying you don't. No. So what do you think? Back in high school, I actually got I actually got the same thing. And now going to my stream, people actually do say I do look like Sid from Toy Story, which is fine because I give them the line that at least I look like somebody that's famous. Okay, AC, I also have to point out the fact that you said with confidence that you could steal anyone's girl, including Mikey's. <laughs> yeah, guess what? And I'll still take your girl. And your girl, and your girl, and your girl. Oh, you say you're married, so I mean, I'll still take her if I want to. Oh. Mikey, do you have anything to say to that? <laughs> I mean, AC, let's not make a fool of ourselves on a on a, on a YouTube show. We have a uh, one more clip to show you. Hey, Eric. Oh my God. I have a message for you. <gasps> now this. Wait, is this Mikey's girl? I heard on the show that joke? you thought you could steal me from Mike, and I just want to clear this up that you can't. But I do wish you luck um, finding someone in the future. That's, wow. I cannot believe my girlfriend's in an overtime video right now. Shout out to Air Cool, Mikey. Yeah, I know. Shout out to Air Cool. Guys, thank you all for joining me. You definitely gave me a headache, as expected. Appreciate you all. I'm moving on, we're keeping things juicy. We're going to our two favorite frenemies, Overtime Tom and Overtime Tanya. What's up, guys? What's up, Jess? How are we doing? Jess, what's up? So first things first, everybody wants to know how real this rivalry is. Tanya and I have a really good work relationship. I, uh, I did not see it coming at all. I would have never guessed that that was gonna happen. So what egged it on? I showed up. I showed everyone that I know how to play. I made it to the final four. Tanya, everybody wants to know, is Tom really a cheater? Oh, absolutely. What? That's, <laughs> that's not even a question. How did you manage to get away with it though, Tom? You know, early on, I had a couple people helping me out and like, I don't think they realized how serious the game was. So they were just like, oh, like, we'll just tell him if he asks, like, it's not a big deal. I blame like the staff more than me. Let's talk a little bit about the talent show now because you two finished one and two. Tanya, was that a turning point for you in the competition? I just want to say I don't think Tom deserved to get second place. Um, <laughs> Tanya was really great, right? Like she sang, it was beautiful. No one had ever heard her sing before. It was sick. I agree she should have won, but to say that I shouldn't have came in second place. Also, the judges all loved it. Is that sort of when the rivalry began between the two of you? Is that when you got really irritated? <sighs> you, were, you were mean to me like in the escape room. You were already mean to me. What? What? I was very trusty in this game. Um, did it start then? I don't know, I think it was a bunch of things combined. Tanya, how did it make you feel when the blue team voted you off? No hard feelings, someone had to go. We were a really good powerhouse and they were all getting annoyed with me at the time. Tanya, you ended up turning things all around when you chose Tom to be on your team once again? Do you regret it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if I would have chose Shania like everyone was expecting, then we would have dominated the cooking challenge. I, I wanted to go Tom. I wanted to shock the world. I thought it'd be a lot more fun to go with my mortal enemy, who honestly has the biggest drive to win there. You blamed the Newmans for having a bad palate. We have another video to show you. <laughs> Hang on, watch this. Tanya, we know that good food, baby. Look at this right here. Oh. Cooked by the chef. V, we know that food. Give me some. That's good food right there. Ain't no junk food over here. <laughs> this is so messed up. <laughs> I cannot believe that they they just responded to you. How you feel, Tanya? I mean, I I'm embarrassed. Like, I'm I'm so sorry, Newman. <laughs> I love you guys. I love your show. I and I don't know. I was just also frustrated. Like, I lost. Tom and Tanya, I had a ton of fun, guys. <laughs> We're down to our last two guests. She started off as an outsider and ended up making it to the final two. Everybody, please welcome Shania Ray. Hello, hello. <laughs> you were kind of the underdog through all of this. No one really thought that you would make it as far as you did. How did you feel about being the underdog? It was a good feeling. After a while though, you do become a target and people start like kind of just looking at you because they want you to get out so bad and you're not. We can't have you on and not talk about the infamous wedding. Fill us in on how that whole idea came together. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I decided I want to get married, so no, I'm kidding. We wanted to make it as fun as possible uh, because we knew obviously other people would see it. So it was just something we're like, let's have fun while doing this and let's get married. Sis to sis, do you think Larry was secretly into it? Maybe so. No, I'm just kidding. No, Larry's the homeboy. 
Well, Shania, it wouldn't be right to talk about Larry behind his back now, would it? Everybody, please welcome your king of summer throne, Overtime Larry. What's up, my man? What's going on, King Me? Where's my crown at? This is really getting to your head, isn't it? <laughs> Not at all. Come on. It's, it's been me. It's been me. Just a second ago, we were talking about the royal wedding. Fill us in a little bit. Is there anything that you want to tell us? I'm a good actor. I'm a good actor. All, I, all I'm saying is I need to call out Mikey because I, I was getting married. I, I was a groom that day and he messed up my eye. But what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel bad at all that you voted him off? <laughs> I do not feel bad at all. We thought me and Chloe were plotting the whole time. Yeah, we're plotting. No, we weren't. Okay, so the final battle comes and it's between the two of you. Was there a lot of tension in that battle? Personally, I, I don't think there was, in my opinion. Oh, please. I don't think I'll let her win the first summer throw. Come on, you bucket. Shania, before we let you go, if you had to do it all over again, would you still write Larry's name down on the chalkboard? 110% yes. <laughs> oh, wow. All love, but yes, I wanted to go against you. Well, better luck next time. Whatever. You're still the queen of summer throw. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank Later, you. Shania. And then it was just the king. Which of all the challenges was the most challenging for you personally? To be honest, the most challenging one was the Mario Kart, which I almost got eliminated. Like it, it was neck and neck, you know, for last place. Let's talk about you and all of your rivalries. Me and Mikey, I don't know why we're always competing, but he's a very competitive dude. Same here. And me and Shania, you know how that story ends. Shania, good try. Okay, so what about your alliances though? You and Tom seem to be pretty tight. Despite the fact that he was cheating the whole time, you were with it. What was up with that? Me and Tom, we the OGs of this, you know? So of course I gotta be close to my guy. He was putting me on to, to everything, you know, early. So I was aware. Take us to the finals. You get that crown placed on your head. You win it all. How did that really feel? Getting the crown was probably the best feeling. Like this is everything that I wanted to be a part of. And I was just like, you know, to hold that crown, like I'm really the king of this. Like it, it just feels amazing, feels good. And to rep the O, it's a blessing. You know people are gonna say it was rigged. They're gonna say, of course Larry won. He's the face of overtime. What message do you have for the haters? To all my haters, Please keep hating, man, because I'm going to keep winning trust. So I'm going to keep going and keep watching. And you're going to remember this face. You love the beard. King me. Larry, thank you so much. You are the king of overtime, the king of summer throne. Wait, 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 Jess. What's up? What's up? I got one more thing I got to say. Sure. Go ahead. Hello, everybody. I have a poem for y'all. It's not about Zion, not about LaMelo Ball. It's about this place. I call my home, it's about my family, on Summer Throne. Started with Sam, and what can I say? <laughs> Lost first round, and the boss made him stay. Mikey, my brother, please stop complaining. Peter has more bounce, and I'm done debating. Now on to Shania, she was a good teammate of mine. After the show, <laughs> I unfollowed her from overtime. Chloe, oh Chloe, yes, that's my good sis. But damn, there's one thing I gotta admit. You got sent home, and the scoring was wrong. I tricked the referees because I wanted you gone. <laughs> Tanya, you tried, and damn, she can sing. But in the kitchen, you really don't know a thing. I'll save the best for last. I know I know, y'all love Larry, the bald dude on the blue team, who I had to carry. No more friends. Next season, you're all going down. Because overtime, Tom, coming back to claim the crown. I know y'all see the new gear, so you better check that link out in the bio. And you already know, we all about the big O, you know? You see the sleeves? <laughs> Fly, right? Check out these videos right here, and subscribe! Subscribe!